aggressive, sexy, ridiculously competitive. Roller derby is it's not all fucking anarchy. that started up in Texas in the early, I think, 2000. And we started in Montreal in 2006. So we're on to our third season. And today we have the new skids on the block. It's our all-star team. Oh, oh, Ladies, fishnets, and fish. I love roller derby. It's such a fast sport, kind of like hockey, but it's, it's more of a show. It brings together a, like a faction of people um, from you know the rockabilly, the punks, uh, the queers, the dirty queens. They're all here, so I think that's really kind of beautiful. Well, we are the proud parents of Mustache Rides. Uh, when she first told me she was doing this, she told me what it was a little bit about what it was like. She said, Dad, you're probably going to love it. Mom's going to hate it. And she was pretty accurate with that, I'd say. Mom's a little tense during the games. Roller derby, you got to have your alter ego. you got to have your name. you got to wear it like a badge and represent every single time you're on the track. Very important. My name's Smack Daddy, so I like to give them number one. Having a lot of women around me all the time and trying to get in my pants and stuff. I was often told as the Mac Daddy, this and that. I have a very steady girlfriend now, so my Mac Daddy days are over. So I got into Derby and I decided just to keep that little, you know you have that little pride that you were once that guy? Well, I want to keep that alive. I'm Georgia W. Tush, number 40 ounces. I feel like roller derby is kind of seeping into my real life because I'll find that when I drive, or when I'm walking and people are in my way, I tend to get a bit frustrated. And I have to kind of remember to not check them out of the way. My name is Mal, Mal Practice. Over here to my left is Syringe. And Syringe! Last week, and we had a fractured leg, but I think the worst of all was a bruised vagina. And one of the competitors, she fell a certain way and her wheel went right up and it just cut into her vulva. And that was that was quite the experience. It was the first for me. <laughs> but we're a lot better now, thank you. I played hockey for 10 years. High contact, like I totally I really missed it. I love skating fast. <laughs> the roller derby, I get this high, like something magical is about to happen, and my life is a little bit on the line if I don't have eyes around my head and if I don't protect my teammates. It's a bit of that warrior feeling. They're sweaty, they're working hard, you know, there's the athleticism, and yeah, we can just all be voyeurs. It's kind of hot. In Derby, there are uh, five players from each team on the uh, track for each jam. Each jam can last at the longest. No, I don't understand the rules, definitely not. Um, I, I know that there's some sort of chasing going on. And when people clap, I clap. That's kind of you know, how I see it. 